Are you interested in seeing more neighborhoods in Oklahoma City? Do you love historic homes? Well, you are in the right place and on the right video. I'm Natalie Bratton with Remax First in Oklahoma City, and today I want to give you a tour of one of our most beloved historic neighborhoods called Crown Heights. Let me give you a tour. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Natalie Bratton with the Bratton Real Estate Group in Oklahoma City, and I am here for you most Fridays uh, to give you more information on real estate in Oklahoma and what's going on in Oklahoma City and the surrounding suburbs. So if you are considering moving to Oklahoma, you need to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell so that you get notified every time I post a video. I post a video most Fridays. Okay, so today I wanna to tell you about Crown Heights. Crown Heights is this beautiful, historic neighborhood in Northwest Oklahoma City. So Crown Heights is loved for its location besides just the beautiful homes and neighborhood. So it is just two miles from the state capitol building and it's three miles from downtown and it's a short distance to OU Medical Center. So it's for anyone commuting to those three locations, it's a very short drive. It's close to the highway uh, to get you to those places and then on the west side of Crown Heights is the Western Avenue District. And that's a shopping district with over 50 restaurants, lots of uh, retail, it has Trader Joe's, uh, Whole Foods, Anthropology, some florist shops, a little bit of everything, a furniture store, all along that row on Western Avenue. And you've got some really cool art deco buildings, and some neat historic properties and the Will Rogers Theater all on Western Avenue to the west of Crown Heights. Crown Heights itself goes from Northwest 36th Street to 42nd between Walker and Western and the homes in Crown Heights were built in the 1930s and 40s and they are all a part of the National Register of Historic Places so they have preserved the look of the homes and so there's mostly Tudor, Colonial, some ranch homes but there are also some mission style and some bungalows and even a few Art Deco and Mediterranean. Uh, those are my favorite. If you live in Crown Heights you are allowed to update and remodel your homes but there are rules that you have to follow to preserve the historic look and the intention of the architecture when it was built. There is green space in Crown Heights. Uh, there's a two city block park on 37th Street and they have some medians on Chartel with, uh, and the neighborhood itself has a lot of trees and nice green space as well. So I think I read online that Crown Heights is considered urban cosmopolitan because you're so close to downtown and all the action, but then um, it's kind of hip with the shopping area and the way they've maintained and beautified the neighborhood. It's very cosmopolitan. So if you are an urban cosmopolitan person, then you might really like Crown Heights. Crown Heights has a voluntary homeowners association where members give anywhere from $100 to $500 per year and it goes towards maintaining all the green spaces in the neighborhood. But they also do a lot of fun activities. They have an Easter egg hunt, they have block parties. Uh, every year when there is the National Memorial Marathon in Oklahoma City, it goes through Crown Heights and the people of Crown Heights make a big deal about supporting the runners as they come through. But they have parties and festivals for most occasions uh, Halloween, 4th of July, they do a lot of fun neighborhood get-togethers. My friends who live in Crown Heights actually know their neighbors and tend to know a lot of the people in the neighborhood and uh, they, they are somewhat of a close-knit community. So how much does it cost to live in Crown Heights? Well the median price of a home in Crown Heights is $400,000 but they are anywhere from 200,000 to 900,000, just depending what street you're on and how big the home is. Most of the homes are between three and $500,000. Uh, 
There are some really small homes that sell right around 200,000. And then there are, of course, the large ones that sell, you know, between 700 to 900,000. So if that's in your price range and you love old homes and you want to be close to downtown Oklahoma City and close to all the action in Oklahoma City, then Crown Heights might be the right neighborhood for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Crown Heights in Oklahoma City. And if you have real estate questions, be sure and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to make comments on the videos and visit me on my website, oklahomahomeseller.com. And hopefully you'll come back next Friday for another video about Oklahoma City and the surrounding suburbs. Thanks.